can't keep my dog from running away. She's strapping yeah. goggles onto the dog and putting him on the back of a motorcycle. A woman and her dog currently riding around the world together on a motorcycle. They hit the road in March. They are going to travel to 90 countries throughout Central America, North and South America, Africa, Europe, and Asia. They're doing it all for a good cause. Jess Stone and her dog Moxie are both with us this morning. Good morning. <laughs> look, at, look at, come on now. Look at that dog just sitting there. Does he enjoy this? She sure does. She absolutely loves it. When we're out there, she's seeing and smelling all new things all the time. Did wow. you build that yourself? I can't imagine there is a motorcycle attachment uh, for a dog. Yeah, we had to build it for her because I didn't want to leave her at home. I only rode a motorcycle, so I needed to find a way to take her along on our, our adventures with me. So we created the K9 Moto Cockpit, and it's a motorcycle dog carrier for large dogs. Well, what are some of the amazing places you've seen so far? I thought one of them was the Dempster Highway. That doesn't typically ring a bell with me. Yeah, it's a dirt highway that leads up from the Yukon into the Northwest Territories to the Arctic Ocean in Canada. And it's a pretty like difficult stretch for motorcyclists. You can have all different types of weather conditions on that stretch, and it's a tough one, especially when you have 75 pounds on the back of your bike. But it's absolutely spectacular, and being able to get to the Arctic Ocean, we camped right there on the, on the, on the ocean coast there. It was fantastic. I can't imagine that, did the dog adapt to this right away? Tell me how, the, you don't just go from, ah, I think I'll throw my dog in the back of the motorcycle. Has he always liked this kind of thing? How did you make that transition? Yeah, so the training process was pretty easy. We started with her when she was about a year and a half. Uh, take some treats and positive reinforcement, but she's not a scaredy cat, so it's not like the sound of the bike or anything disturbed her. And eventually she would just leap up into her cockpit, she'd turn around, she'd lay down, and then harness her in, and then she was good to go. It took me a little <laughs> bit longer to get used to having the weight on the back than it did for her to be riding with me. Oh. Tell us about the, the nonprofit uh, that benefits uh, girls. Yeah, so the nonprofit's called Girl Up, and they were founded by the United Nations Foundation in 2010. And they work with girls in 130 countries, and they provide leadership and development training so that the girls can advocate for issues that matter most to them uh, to achieve gender equality. And it's a nonprofit that I, it's really close to my heart because it's a mission that, something that I wish that I had when I was growing up, because I feel like I'd be a lot further along in my life if I had that community and that training and that feeling of self-confidence that these girls have in these groups all around the world. So this ride is about raising money for that. I saw a video of people stopping and, and taking video of you driving by. What kind of reaction do you get to this? Yeah, people love it. It's great. People will be in their cars and have their, their phones out the windows videoing us. Every gas station is a selfie palooza. People want to take photos with Moxie. And of course, the first thing that people say is, oh my gosh, she's wearing goggles. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Well, good luck to you. Thanks for joining us. For more information, you can check out GoRoughly.com. You can also follow Jess and Moxie's journey on Facebook and Instagram or check out their videos on YouTube. Thanks so much. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys.